Hey everybody. I'm in the middle of doing a water change here on my brackish tank and I've actually had a couple of questions about doing water changes on brackish aquariums here in the last few days so I thought I would go ahead and answer at least one of those questions and that question is how I keep my specific gravity the same before the water change and after the water change and it's actually a really easy process I keep a five gallon bucket as my reservoir of brackish water that's the top bucket you see there and I'm in the middle of filling the tank back up this is my little scoop bucket that I'm using and then the bucket on the bottom is the water that I just drained out of the tank I just use the same bucket basically to drain the water out and I remove five gallons and then I simply replace it with five gallons of water that's the same specific gravity that comes out of the tank so if I keep my tank set at 1.008, I simply keep my reservoir here at 1.008. So I pull five gallons out, I put five gallons back in, and it's as simple as that. My specific gravity doesn't change at all. Now the thing you need to consider is evaporation. When water evaporates out of a tank, it leaves behind all of the mineral salts, it leaves behind the phosphates, the nitrates, it leaves pretty much everything behind, and only the water evaporates out of the tank. It's basically distilling down the contents of the tank. It's condensing what's in the tank. So over time, let's say that, that my tank is looking like this before my water change. Let's say I haven't done a water change in a long time and the water is this low it's you know two gallons short of being full now if I were to do this that would mean the specific the specific gravity in this tank has climbed way up you know the water would be really really a lot saltier if it had condensed down this much due to evaporation you know in my hypothetical scenario here so what you do is you top the tank back off preferably with RO water or as pure a water as you can get it because you don't want to add any more minerals to it so you top the tank back off you basically dilute the water back down to its correct specific gravity of 1.008 or whatever your chosen specific gravity is and then once you've got it back to that specific gravity then you can do your five gallon removal and then when you put your five gallons back in your specific gravity is still the same so in this scenario if I were say again if the tank had evaporated down and the tank was this low and I was about to start a water change right now if I just took five gallons out of here if I put five gallons back in it would put it right back to where we started I'd still have to top the tank off but topping it off after the water change would sort of start to shift the specific gravity around because I would have done a removal of really highly concentrated water. So I always do my top off before a water change. I usually stay on top of the uh, water level anyway, but if I do need to top it off, if I'm getting ready to do a water change, I always make sure the water level is where I want it and then I remove my five gallons or sometimes I'll have two buckets ready and then I can remove ten gallons and then simply replace it with the same amount of water that's already pre-made to the correct specific gravity so that's all there really is to it and I've been meaning to share this tip for a long time um, but never have so now's a good opportunity for me to do that if you are going to do a water change like this and not use one of the hoses or something and you have to pour water in using a big bucket or something uh, one way you can do that to prevent your gravel from getting all washed all over the place from the current being flushed in there is the colander method I've shown that one before where you actually take a little sieve or a little handheld strainer of some sort and you can pour the water into that um, and that really diffuses the way the water flows into the tank but it's a little bit slower of a process and if you really want to just get it done and over with here's how I do it so get your bucket full of water I just submerge the whole thing in the water and then once it's underwater you can simply turn it over and lift it back out and the water stays in the tank and it doesn't really, I mean, you can see the plants in there are not being knocked all over the place. You just simply turn the 
bucket over and it just sort of exchanges the water. And you see how much water we just added in a few moments there. And I'm actually getting the bucket down low enough now when I'm down to the last little bit I just go ahead and pick the bucket up. But instead of staying up here and pouring and doing it slowly and slowly and slowly and trying not to, you know, or trying to pour it so it hits one of the rocks, just stick the whole thing in the water, sort of roll it over and lift it back out and it just leaves the water behind and you fill your tank up really rapidly that way. So there you go, that's how I keep my specific gravity the same during water changes and that's a quick little tip for how to do a rapid water change when you're using a little handheld bucket like this. So make sure you're subscribed, that way you don't miss anything, you never know what it's going to be with me. Thanks again for watching this one, don't forget this one here is my brackish tank. Hope that was helpful to somebody, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you real soon in the next one. Thanks again.